Hi everyone, welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video, we will discuss about REST API. What is the literal meaning of REST API? And thereafter, I'll discuss about websites, how they are using REST API in real world. So hope you'll enjoy my video. So let's get started. So let's start with acronyms. REST API stands for Representational State Transfer Application Programming Interface. REST APIs are integral to web application development and they are becoming mainstays of all web development. To understand what is REST API, I'll take an example. Imagine there is a library with books and here we have our librarian and people who wants to borrow those books we will take them as clients let's treat them as web application on the other side we have bookstore let's take them as data store typically a database or we can say a database server here in the middle we have librarian which we will take it as REST API who receives process and handle request and responses of the clients. So this is our environment of how our library works. When the client comes and requests to get a resource, the REST API receives that request and identifies the requested resources and figures out what data needs to be gathered and in what format creates a representation of the data matching of the requested format. Bundles it all up, but as per the resource ID and hyperlinks, the media formats the response and send it all back to the client. Here you can see as per the ID, it will have the get request and will provide the requested resource to the client. Here the person who requested the book we are taking him as client and here the client receives the data passes it into something meaningful on its own end. Whereas on the other hand librarian that is REST API sits quietly waiting for the next request. Next the client or rather its user wants to change something. So he again comes. He refers to client and the changes you can see instead of get we have put request. This is a put request for existing resource. Then librarian makes the changes submitted and returns the new representation of the source along with a success message. To notify the client, everything went as it was expected. And here you can see the client receives the response and goes back. So here in this example, we have seen one client sent request to the REST API. In most application, we have several, maybe hundreds or thousands of client making requests. So the librarian or the REST API will be very busy but the actual flow will be exactly the same as it happened before. That is the client makes the request, REST API receives the request, gathers and passes the data and returns that data or the response header to the client. Let's have the implementation of REST API. Here we'll open up our favorite social media app maybe it can be Facebook Instagram or any news here in the news we usually read the latest news which appears on our system search for travel deals on our computer or watch our favorite shows through a streaming service streaming service we can take example as Hotstar Prime videos if you think upon it what do all these things have in common they are pulling information from the internet using REST API. They take your average web-based application like a social media site 
When you open it in your computer, you see a header with bunch of navigation option, some sidebars which are having information and a stream. That stream updates continuously as we scroll down. Always show you more content. Now here, how that works on the backend. Let's say if I take the example of my own site, so here the website itself is just a framework of templates for the application. It provides the physical header or we can have sidebars, the main content area. So when I visit the site, the entire framework is downloaded. As soon as I give the URL netsetos.org and the whole website start running in our browser. And here if I click on sign out, it sends automated requests to the representational state transfer application programming interface or we can say REST API. So here when I go to Netset OS tutorial, it will be redirected to this page. So REST API responds by sending a data package with just the posts themselves and the framework pulls the bit and places them in the correct slots in the template. So we can say REST isn't a specific technology, but rather a data architecture and a design methodology, which produces predictable and consistent outputs with behaviors and returning the standardized structured data. Typically, we can say JSON or XML. So here, each page comprises a single HTML document containing the content, any reference items like images, one or more style sheet describing how the document is presented in the browser. If I go here in view page source, you can find all of the HTML part. Here I have also used some of the JavaScript manipulating the document. So whenever the visitor navigates from one page to another page, they send a URL. URL stands for Universe Resource Locator, which requests to the server pointing at a web resource in the form of specific HTML document. Here the server responds by returning the document along with its adjoining files to the browser, which replaces the previous content. So here this works fine as each new page requires a completed HTML document and the document has to be written by a developer or generated by a content management system before it gets downloaded and rendered in the browser. Now if we imagine instead of website, individual documents which is generated or downloaded from the server. We have an application over here, an application which is downloaded to the browser and it is running in the browser itself. Here we have data which is populated from the web. In this application, each page is a view representing the current state so that when a visitor loads the site for the first time, all the component that makes up the application are downloaded into HTML, CSS and a JavaScript form. So here application sends URI. URI stands for Universe Resource Identifier Request. I'll tell you the difference between URI and URL in the next video. But for the time being, let's take it as Universe Resource Identifier Request for a web resource representing the next state of the application, which is to be transferred. So here, when the visitor navigates from one view to next view, the application sends a new URI request for a web resource representing the next state of the application. Here, we used to have add, modify, replace, delete the previous data. So the major thing is, representational state which is transferred as data object not the entire files so here the application can update its data without rendering the new page so let's understand this with one more example where we visit 
a Facebook page on our computer as well as on the mobile phone. We use two different applications to access the same data from same REST resource. All this back and forth is controlled through an application programming interface which is said to be API. So API is a set of features and rules that exist inside a software program enabling interaction between software and other items as we have seen here through API we can interact with the help of computer as well as mobile. Now if we understand this in context of REST API, API is a collection of tools used to access and work with REST resources where we can have the request including get, pull, put, delete or post. So in short you can think of the librarian as REST resource and the language in which they are interacting is said to be API where we are making use of the terms get, pull, put, delete. As you can see in the last example, when client arrives, the first time he took with get request, whereas afterwards on the same ID we had put request. So hope you got the idea what is REST resource and what is API. So if you like my examples for the explanation of APIs and REST APIs, let me know in the comment section below as well as please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.